Welcome back to the channel. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to work with alpha channels in Blender. Particularly, we're going to be doing this leaf example. So what is an alpha channel? So some images, like for example, um, PNGs, and I think TIFF files even, and a few others, they can have um, an alpha channel attached to them. So that's areas where you're going to have transparency if you use it the right way in Blender. So I'm going to show you how to import an alpha. But another thing I'm going to show you as well, because a lot of, um, for example, images that you're going to get on the internet, um, the way you just download them from Google Images, they actually, even if they say transparent, they'll just be downloaded with a solid white or black background. And I'm going to quickly show you how you can utilize a free program called GIMP. I'm not going to really show you how to use GIMP itself because it's really simple and there's a lot of tutorials already. But we'll quickly just jump into GIMP and I'll just show you how you can drag in. In this case, it'll just be like a crappy JPEG, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to actually just select the background and then delete it. And then we have kind of like a alpha channel. We'll export it as a PNG and I'll show you how to simply take that into Blender but with a very simple import method. And we'll add a little bit of more realism in the node setup just to add a bit of bump here without having an actual bump map. And uh, I think the overall result is really fun. So this is a fantastic beginner tutorial showing you how to use alphas in Blender and particularly how to use it to set up a leaf that you can see through like this. As you can see, it's just a plane, but once we render, we've got that nice alpha transparency. So let's jump in and I hope you guys enjoy. So usually when you want an image with an alpha, you can just go to something like Google Images and you can type in leaf with alpha or, you know, blanket with alpha or t-shirt logo with alpha, whatever you want. In this case, I've typed in leaf with alpha and it used to be quite easy. You'd be able to like click on an image that um, was like a PNG and it would kind of like show like the checkered background. Um, but a lot of the images, when you just get them directly out of Google um, images, and you download them without going through the website, you'll kind of just get a solid background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually show you how you can deal with that anyway, because most leaves you'll get out here will probably just have a solid background. So go ahead and just find a leaf when you type in leaf with alpha. And um, you, know, you can either have a solid black or a solid white background, doesn't matter. And once you click on one that you like, you can just right click on image. You can go save image as. Um, I'm gonna save mine to my desktop. And um, over here, it wants to do it as a JPEG, which is not actually something that can support an alpha. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do it anyway. I'm just gonna call it leaf and leave it as a JPEG. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to be using a free program. It's called GIMP. Now, I actually use Adobe Photoshop, but GIMP is at least a free version that you can use. You can go ahead and download GIMP. There are a billion tutorials out there on how to use it, but I'll quickly just give you a simple um, rundown on how you can now take this image as long as it has a solid background. All you have to do is right click on it. You can go and just open it with GIMP once you've downloaded GIMP. It might pop up something like this telling you to convert it. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on convert. And here I have an image. Now, ideally, you'd want, you know, a better quality image, something that has like um, higher resolution, maybe a PNG or a TIFF file even will give you a lot better quality. But in this case, this is what I have to work with. So what I'll do is I'll first go to layer transparency. And if this wasn't a TIFF or a PNG file when you imported it, it won't have an alpha channel. So in this case, it was a JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and this should be available here. I'm going to go add alpha channel. Now I can work with alpha channels. So I'm just going to go to my tools selection panel here, click on a little fuzzy selection tool. And I'm just going to click on a solid background. And because it's a solid background, whether it's black or white, so that's usually the two common ones. It might be other colors. But as long as it's solid, you can click on it. And you can now see these little marching ants. It's now selected. And you're just going to press delete and delete that background like so. Now we have an alpha channel or alpha transparency here because you can actually see this checkered um, view at the back. So now all you have to do is go file and you can go to export as. I'll just export it to my desktop and I'll just make it leaf.png by typing it in after the dot. And I'm gonna go export, pops up with this export image as PNG and I'm going to go ahead and export it to my desktop. So now if I go to my desktop, I can see here's the old leaf, the one that just has a solid background. And this one here I can see looks transparent on the thumbnail. So that's really cool. I'll just delete the original one that's just a JPEG. 
So now let's jump into Blender. And I'm gonna be using Blender 4.3 for this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna delete the default cube and the light. I'm just gonna press X and click on delete. Then I'm gonna go Shift A. And you could just traditionally, people would add in a plane, then add the texture, but you should simply just be able to go down to image and then go to mesh plane as a selection, then go to wherever you have that. For me, it's on my desktop. I'll just click on that leaf um, dot PNG and go import images as plane. And here you can see. Now, if I go over to my render engine, by default, it's set to EV. I'm gonna change it to cycles. So it's gonna work a lot better. And I'm just gonna to come to my render samples here. Just make it like 45 max under the render. And now I'm gonna go Z and I'm gonna click on rendered. And here you can see Blender is now automatically taking account of that alpha channel. So I'm gonna go Shift A. I'll just quickly go to my light options, add it in an area light. I'm gonna go G, move it over to the side. R to rotate it. I'll kind of have it kind of facing in like that. There we go. So I think what I'll do in the front view is I'll just rotate this leaf like this. So I can kind of see it like this. There we go. And I'll just have kind of my light looking right at it. There we go. Awesome. So we can make this look even better. So let's select the leaf. Let's go over to our shading workspace. And uh, once again, I just want to mention it because I know somebody will probably point this out. Yes, you would get a much better result, much better quality if you started with something that had well, like a PNG or a TIFF file or something like that. A JPEG is not necessarily always ideal for this sort of thing. But in this case, you can see it doesn't actually look too bad, even though we've converted a JPEG to a PNG. Um, so what you can do here, you can see under the node setup, if you select the leaf, that what it's done here, it's just taken the image, put the color into the base color, and it's automatically put the alpha into this alpha input here, which is what you would do manually if you were just importing it onto a plane. So what you could do here is first of all, bring the roughness down a little bit. And then you can go to the subsurface, make it 0.1. And then another thing I recommend is going Shift A, click on Search and get a ramp. Click on the color ramp option. And then just plug the color into the factor. And then go Shift A, Search and get a bump. Place it over here and then put the color into the height and a bump into the top normal input here, like that. And then just drag that strength down and now you can see we have a little bit of bump to our leaf as well. Pretty cool. Um, so now, you know, let's go shift A. Let's just add in, for example, a monkey head. Um, just pop that in the back. Just so you have something, so you can actually see that there's actually something behind the monkey, um, behind the leaf. Okay, so it's actually transparent like that. I'm also gonna just grab my camera and I'll just kind of uh, move it in at a kind of nicer angle. Just so we can do a bit of a rendered shot here. And I'll quickly go ahead and save this to my desktop. And I'm gonna go render and render the image. And there we have it. That actually looks really, really good. And it was quite simple to set up. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Alpha Channel to create a simple leaf. Um, now that you know this trick with GIMP, you can take any kind of solid background image you want convert it into a transparent alpha, and then kind of utilize it in Blender. So I'll see you guys next time, and thank you for watching.